Not too long ago on the channel, I finished a full playthrough of Super Mario 64. I do it every year. Uh, it's one of my favorite games ever. And so today I thought, hey, let's just rank uh, the levels in Super Mario 64 and see you know, which one comes out on top. Here we go. So let's go ahead and start off at the bottom F tier. Down here, it's mostly just levels that have to do with the hat. I'm just not very good at flying with that thing. And so these levels that are specifically aimed at it, no thank you. Wing Mario over the rainbow specifically, that's my least favorite level. It's just about like shooting with the cannons, going up after stuff, um, just getting those red coins. It's just not for me. I, I don't like it. It's too stressful. I feel like I got to quit out too much. And I don't know. It's just not not a lot of fun. The same is going to go for Tower of the Wing Cap. Uh, it's just a little bit better because you, you know at least get... The wing cap here like this is how you unlock it uh, but outside of that it's just getting red coins um, it's a little less complicated like you're not using cannons and everything uh, to do it but for me it's still it's at the bottom luckily there's no super f tier right right now in this in this one because like, at least in these levels you're still getting to play as mario in mario 64 so hey it's not all bad that's gonna take us up into the d tier though rainbow ride um it's not my favorite for a few reasons like it's just so slow for starters uh, and then one bad jump is going to send you all the way back to the beginning where you just have to ride up super slow on the carpet again it goes in a couple different paths where you can like go up to uh, like the ship or you can go over and get the red coins and there's different things to do in that but overall for me this one is not one i ever look forward to playing the same is going to go for wet dry land man i don't know like I, I, I get excited every time I come into this level because I'm like, oh, maybe this will be the one where like I actually like it. But it's got the guys that flip you. It's got the guys that throw you. Uh, anytime you got to adjust the water level um, on a level, like water temple kind of stuff, it just adds an extra level of confusion uh, for me. Uh, again, this is probably on me more than the level itself. But you know, overall, it's just one that I'm happy to skip. I do like the kind of like city part of it that you get to by shooting in the cannon go over off in the corner but it's not enough to really get it any higher uh, than this D tier. But now we're in C tier, and from here on out, um, these levels are at least pretty good, right? The Secret Aquarium um, is, you know, not much, but there's no pressure, uh, like when it comes to the, the, the winged ones earlier. You're just getting the red coins, you're just pretty much learning how to swim in this 3D space, which, you know, it's appreciated uh, that, uh, that they're giving you this uh, time to do that. Um, I know that for some people maybe worrying about drowning, but you get so much time. There's so many coins everywhere, uh, plus the music. It's a, not the, the last time we're going to be hearing this music, and this music alone gets you up at least one uh, tier. Uh, so yeah, for me, this one's uh, easily in C, but it's it's at the bottom because it's pretty, pretty simple. Tiny Huge Island has a cool gimmick. You know, it's not the first time we see this in Mario, right? Shows up all the way back in uh, Super Mario Bros. 3, where, like, there's big versions of stuff, or there's tiny versions of stuff. Um, and getting to run around it in 3D space is fun. Uh, how you can change, like, in time, in real time, in the level is also cool. Um, but, I don't know, some of the, the little guys just are almost too hard to jump on. Um, and it's just kind of annoying, but finding those big versions of them is, is kind of cool and everything. So yeah, it, it sits pretty pretty comfortably in the in the middle of the C tier. Banish cap under the moat again, middle of C tier. Um, I like this one probably because I played it the most out of like all of the hat levels. Right, it's found in the main hub world, so you can get to it really easily. Um, and just I don't know, got fun music. Uh, it's not too hard, uh, especially as a kid like. The big slide at the beginning, lots of extra lives. So if you're worried about that, and some of the platforming in it is, you know, kind of challenging even. So I, I do like this one, uh, but nothing too too exciting with it. TikTok Clock is going to finish off my C tier. Um, I think it's cool, like how depending on where the hands are as you jump into the clock, uh, is going to change how fast everything is moving inside of there. This level seems very hard to me, at least at some parts of it. Uh, like there's some really precise uh, platforming you got to do again. I'm I'm not super confident in my movement in this game. And so like I know for some people it's like jump, 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 jump. What? But there's spots in here where I'm like, I'm going to line up what I'm doing because I might accidentally walk off a cliff. Also, like the sound of the pendulum swinging 
can be a bit much for me if it just goes on forever. So, yeah, this one, I'm going to let it finish out C tier. Top of it, it's an interesting idea, but when I get to this part of the game, if I don't have enough stars, this is when I'm not necessarily kind of like, oh, let's just go do all these ones. Getting up into B tier here now. Right? So we got Tall Tall Mountain. I really like this level. I think that there's a lot of good stuff uh, going on uh, in it. You got a monkey, for starters. We got to mention the monkey. Get your little mole guys who are throwing stuff at you. Um, I like any of these mountain ones. The ones where you're just kind of like going up uh, to get to the top of it. It's it's a lot of fun. Uh, I like the little red coin obstacle courses is always cool. Um, and having to jump out um, in fight, like in faith to like land on the mushrooms uh, can be a, a good time as well. It's a pretty standard level, bottom B tier. Dire Dox is next up. It's got the giant submarine. It's super cool looking. The fact that Bowser has a submarine is also just a cool thing to think about. Uh, it's got uh, some pretty cool water themed uh, stars to be getting. Like we're using the different caps and you're you know, using the manta ray. Uh, to be able to like get one of them uh, it's just overall it's pretty fun it's, it's a good time and when it comes to like collecting red coins and everything happening to, to jump off the different poles and everything it's it's a, a different way of doing that i like it um, so yeah this one's comfortable in that b tier cavern of the metal cap the the next uh one i want to talk about uh you get to it by going into the hazy maze cave um and in there it's getting the the bonus metal cap to be metal mario and the music alone on this one kind of bumps it up past, you know, the, the other bonus stages. Um, I love the Metal Mario theme. It's just very, like, the momentum on it is crazy. And it's like, you better run. You better go and just accomplish what you can before this stuff runs out. Um, it's great to just kind of have that, the power to just, like, run through bad guys. Um, again, the red coin on this one is it's not too hard. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I, I like this one and the fact that it's inside of a level too kind of adds to the the mystery of it and finding it. That's gonna bring us to our first of the Bowser levels, Bowser in the Sky. This is the last level of the game. It's gonna be my least favorite of the Bowser levels, but it's not really a knock against it. Um, it's pretty long. There's some cool shortcuts in it that aren't too hard to pull off and everything. Um, but there's some spots in it where it's just like, oh man, if you fall, it's just so like so close where i shouldn't have done that the level itself isn't really what would make it be my least favorite of the bowser levels it's the fact that bowser in it is so much harder than the other ones um it makes the level turn into a star you have to hit him three times instead of just once uh so yeah again it's probably a meme thing but bowser in this game is just something where i was like i struggle i struggle with throwing bowser and the struggle is the most real on this level bowser in the dark world that's going to be next up here on the list um again it's the first time you fight bowser it's a pretty simple level it's not too long uh the one hit fight is you know great there's not anything too special on the level itself so that's why this one falls here and then finishing up b tier is going to be hazy maze cave um this one we've kind of talked about a little bit already because the metal cap is in here but there's a lot of cool stuff in here you get like the the pit in it where the balls are falling down which is a cool room you got like maze stuff that you can get into both like up top but then also uh in uh you know the where the smoke is or like the the poison the poison gases which you know could be a part where it's like well, i don't know if i like this very much uh but it just kind of like adds into like the atmosphere of the level i love getting going down and being able to swim with dory uh, we always used to call her the Loch Ness Monster because you know, she didn't read signs and everything. The fact that you ground pound her is not my favorite. It's a sad sound. It might be the thing that makes her stay down uh, here in B tier. But, you know, overall, it's a really good level. It's a lot of fun. It's got a cool entrance, like, into the where you jump into the, the puddle in the ground. Um, so, yeah. Okay, now we are in the A tier. So, let's go ahead and check out the first one here. And it's going to be Princess Peach's Secret Slide. Uh, you're in this room there's these stained glass windows which one you go in the one on the right it's just a simple slide uh it's fun that there's a time trial on this too it's not just trying to get down at the bottom you can get a secret star by going fast enough it's just a lot of fun great way to kind of get introduced to this part of the game shifting sand land is just so good like it's got two levels in one right you get the outside where it's like all of the quicksand and everything you got the bird flying around you can get 
uh, the star from. It's got those scary, like, rolling uh, big blocks that you hide under the, the one hole that they have in them. Um, you can get the shell and ride around on the shell. Um, and then there's the pyramid itself, right? Where you can, which you can get into in a couple different ways. You can blow the top off of it, or you can go in through the front door, uh, which inside there's a ton of stuff to do in there too. You can get up to the top of the pyramid. You can go uh, and um, go in and fight the boss, which is like the two uh, the two hands and everything. It's just a great level. Uh, and it's got cool music too. It's one of those levels where, uh, you know, it feels hot, right? The music and everything is like, well, I, do, I, I can feel like I'm in the desert on this one. Snowman's Land is going to be next up in A tier. I like the snow levels on this game, and uh, this one is got some really cool stars in it, right? You get to, again, ride around on the shell, which is always a good time. Uh, you can uh, climb to the top of this giant snowman, which might be the biggest living thing in this game. It's huge. Uh, when he blows you off of there, too, that's always fun to see Mario fly across the level. And you lose your hat, which is not great. Uh, not my favorite. But then it's also got this one spot in it that I really, really like, which is like the frozen house, right? You can see through it. You can see where the star is, but it's kind of trying to figure out the maze of it. It's not that complicated or anything, but it's it's a different kind of puzzle that we don't really see at all in the rest of the game. And I, I really like that and makes the level kind of stand out for me. Plus the fact that it's like invisible in the wall to jump into it. This isn't one where it has like a painting like a lot of the other ones. It's like you have to notice that the reflection has uh, the the cold part on it uh, there and jump into that so it's cool it's fun to get into it bowser in the fire sea is going to be next up and it's my highest ranked bowser level i just like the lava i think it adds to it makes it scarier um yeah there's a, a lot of cool like jumping and everything that happens in this one too and then the bowser fight and it's my favorite too because he's kind of the easiest in this one where he's just kind of if you throw him off he'll jump and make the whole platform go up ended but yeah overall really really good love it jolly roger bay introducing you to like the best music in the game i could listen to this like on loop for hours in fact i have it's great work music it's great sleeping music um definitely recommend it um, now the level itself has got a lot of cool things in it too you got a pirate ship uh that you get a raise up uh, from under the sea and then get on top of uh, there's a giant scary eel um in there you get a cannon to use um now, it's in early level, so it's not too complicated. There's not a lot of crazy stuff going outside of it. But, man, it really, really sets the tone. Uh, maybe being one of the best water levels um, in video games ever. Now, let's go ahead and finish off A tier with Big Boo Haunt. Uh, I love a spooky level. Luigi's Mansion, one of my favorite games ever. Um, this kind of kid level, scary, is, I don't know, I just think a lot of fun. It's, like, spooky, right? It's But it's not terrifying. Uh, though there is a terrifying thing in this level, and it's that piano, right? I mean, look at that thing. It's scary. It's fun to get to fight the boos in here, the boss boo in here. Everything is a good fight. And there's a lot of secrets uh, to get around to. So, yeah, overall, this one is definitely worthy of that A tier. And then that finally brings us into the S tier. As you can tell, based off of what levels uh, you haven't seen so far, if you are familiar with the game, I'm pretty basic. Uh, so let's go ahead and start off with the bottom of S tier, uh, which is going to be Cool Cool Mountain. This level's huge. Uh, you get to go down a slide. You get to race a giant penguin down a slide. You get to save a baby penguin and give it to his mommy. Womp's Fortress, another fantastic time. Uh, great bosses right in the early parts of this game just big bosses which is again seen this kind of stuff before i mean let alone running around in 3d space but the big thwomp is very very big there's cool ways to beat him to using glitches once you know them uh, but even the fight itself uh, there's a lot of fun um the owl that's in there again the cannon and just getting to climb up to the top of the fortress too uh, it's a simple level like it's not something where there's like a crazy with the theme of it uh, but I really, really just like it. And I think getting to spend more time in it uh, doing like speed running stuff too has made me appreciate it even more. Uh, so yeah, this one, it's got to be on that S tier for me. Lethal Lava Land has always been just so cool. I mean, volcanoes obviously are a good time. Uh, you can, again, ride on the shell, but this time you're riding on the lava. Great stuff. It's got good boss fights uh, with fighting the big bullies. Um, it's got the coolest out of all of the uh, the red coin collection things. It's got the rolling log. Um, it's got everything. It's just so, so good. Gotta be an S tier easily. And then 
finishing it off. The best level in Super Mario 64. One of the best intro levels in a game ever. It's bob Battlefield. Uh, it's just so good. The storytelling that's happening here. We've got two different kinds of bob that are fighting each other. Who would have ever thought that was going to happen? You got the big bob the king of them. He's super cool. And you got the chain chomp. Uh, and then the music just gets stuck in my head for days and days and days. It's been my alarm on my phone for years at this point, and I'm still not tired of it. That's how good the music is in this level. That's how good the music is in this game. It's just a huge playground that lets you just comfortably just get used to all the things you're going to be doing in the rest of the game, all while still being super memorable uh, and just introducing you to a lot of different obstacles that are, you know, easy to overcome once you know how uh, but as you're learning how to play the game can really be pretty challenging it's a perfect level outside of using the cannon and the hat not my favorite star uh but it's the best one in this game uh, in my opinion so anyway there's my ranking of the levels in super mario 64 this is kind of how i like them so what do you think what ones do you think are the best what ones did i put too low what ones did i put too high let me know in the comments below hope you have a great rest of your day and i'll see you next time. Whee!